Hey guys, welcome to another episode of DIY Car Mods. I'm Jeff, and in this video, I'll show you the procedure on how to change your stock hazard button right here with a red illuminated one right here from Japan. This process should take you about half an hour. The only tools that you need is a pry tool and a Phillips screwdriver and also a 8mm uh, socket right here. The first thing we have to do is go ahead and remove the side silver trim pieces. I have a video on how to remove this along with the uh, center cubby right here, this pocket. So go ahead and remove it. You just need a pry tool and just pry it to the side and you can get these out. Next, there'll be two screws right here to remove your pocket. So take this out. And then the little tray right here, just push it up. And take that out. Alright, so after that's removed, in here, you're going to find two of these. Screws are located, like if you follow right here and go all the way down, it's all the way on the top. Same thing in here. So you just need a eight millimeter socket and an extension, and you need to put it in here. And then until you find that screw and unscrew it on here, and there's gonna be on this side and unscrew it on this side. What I do is I took my cell phone and I placed it down here as a guide so that I can see See where that little hole is? That's where one of them is. And there's another one on this side. Not sure if you can see it, but it's here. Do you see it right there? All right, once you have those removed, right here, this trim, you need to get your pry tool and pry this out. You don't need to pull it all the way, but you just need to loosen this because this is held on in behind this little plate. And so you have to take this off. And also you have to take this little top panel out. Go ahead and pry it out and it'll come off. And back here, there's gonna be two Phillips screw. One on each side, this one. There's gonna be one here and one here. Remove that and then you're done. Now what you do is you just grab it from the top right here, grab it from the top right here and pull and pull. Be careful not to scratch anything down here. So make sure you're pulling straight up and back like this. You don't need to remove this completely to get to your hazard button right here. You just have to pull it out Tilt it far back up as far as you can go. There's gonna be screws on each side. So undo the screws. I already gone and removed the other side, but it's just a regular Phillips screw and this thing will come off because it's held on by two screws and that's it. And also there's a wire harness that you have to remove. Once you're done, Go ahead and take your new one, insert it into the slot, take your two screws, put them back on. All right, once you have the two screws back on, go ahead and plug your hazard button to the wire harness, the white one right here that you removed. and then put everything back together. All right, here is a quick video demo to show you the illuminated function of this new red hazard button. Now, as you can see, everything is off. However, when I turn on my headlights, it lights up. Now I can go ahead and adjust the brightness by adjusting the brightness for the whole interior lights by the button that's right here. I can go ahead and twist this knob to the left and as you can see you can adjust the brightness for everything inside and you can turn it to the right and it gets brighter and this also gets brighter as well okay this completes the installation of the new JDM red hazard button for the Nanchan Honda Accord this procedure will be the same for all 2013 to 2017 Honda Accord coupe and sedan if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. 
Now, I didn't provide a very detailed instructions on how to remove some of the trim pieces and how to reinstall them. The reason being is I already have videos on those in my channel. So I will link them in the video description of this video. And so you guys can go check it out if you guys need help removing and reinstalling those parts. As always, don't forget to follow me on social media, Facebook and Instagram, where I do free giveaways for my YouTube subscribers. And as always, please like, share, and subscribe for more videos. Thank you.